Welcome back, Stasi23 here, back again with some knife therapy for you, and I'm joined by my boy Copper Dice. Are we still going off that knife therapy name? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's just, you're about like my, two, year, you're two years into this. Yeah, it's just my intro, just you know, uh, whatever. It's like but, your, your selling point. Yeah, right? that, I'm selling my car, you know. Right. So um, y'all have already seen these in, in my Blade Show haul video, but uh, I'm gonna let my boy Copper Dice go through and give his first impressions on my scores of Blade Show, and then at the end. Make him choose his his two favorite out of the out of the group and see if he's if he's anywhere near my two favorites. Well, I think you went and you got a good variety. I know it's overwhelming. Last last year I went, I I didn't know what to do, and yeah. you know, uh, Stasa twenty three just kind of leaves you. He he. Everybody, we he, all he's on a mission. Ways, though. Like somewhere, uh, well, you know, you kind of got to, I heard people mapping out what they want to do, and that's kind of how I did it. And I I suggest that because I went in there like. Uh, yeah, just going look. That's something. This this was my third year going, and I'll tell you the the biggest thing that helped me out this year is I had like four tables or four knives that I was interested in picking up, and that was the the tables I hit. And once I got to those four tables and had those knives, I could have been done with it. But the rest was just making content for you guys and talking to to different youtubers and people that i met along the way and then i ended up finding some more knives that i bought for the channel and just some that i just liked in general so see i kind of went my mindset last year was like pace myself through the whole show so i could you know find exactly what i want but if you do that yeah, you're, you're not, not gonna what, what happens is if you do that you end up if, especially if it's a popular model you miss out because they only bring so many to the to the show and the real popular ones go the quickest. So if you don't go straight to the table that you want to right when you get in, your chances of getting that that knife if it's popular are slim to none. Yeah, and you got to bring bring plenty of money. Yeah, I mean not really. I mean that, let's let's be real. If 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 you don't have a lot of money, you can still have a blast at the show Absolutely. because you can. It, as it, wasn't it fun to meet all these makers and Absolutely. talk to people that you talk to online? That's that to me is the funnest part of it. Right, but see, you know, I didn't. I was I was fairly new to custom knives last year or whatever. Still yeah. am. That's but. that's a realm that I haven't really dove into. I don't know if this is considered a custom. I, I don't. I'm not sure. But um, or this guy. So I have a right now. I have a price threshold, and I was actually going to be going over it this year. I, it was going to be a new threshold. Because my deal is, is if I buy a knife and if I'm if I'm scared to use it, then I don't keep it. Uh, I use all my knives. I, I enjoy using them. I go out of my way to use them sometimes. So that that price ceiling, anybody that's in the hobby knows that it, it usually starts to creep up and up and up because you find you know different stuff you want. Anyway, I, in, 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 into this score that he got this year, I see like a variety of price ranges, and uh, and I, I really think you did good as from the top to the bottom as far as getting stuff that you don't have and. Uh, yeah, like the getting things some I got, different things. The things I got from the channel are just things that I probably wouldn't have gotten. You know, that's just stuff. This one immediately grabs my attention because uh, I know you got one of these. What is it? The PT. The PT. Yeah. yeah. But that, this, the blade shape on this one, and yeah, look this at is that. the third generation PT with that different blade shape, and it's got the uh, performance series titanium handles. So uh, how, about how many of these did they have when you went to get this one? Uh, there was They didn't have them all out on the table, so I don't know exactly how many they had, but I do know I was gonna buy two of them, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm gonna let other people come. And then of course, the next guy that came to me was a purveyor, and he bought seven of them, and then he marked them up $200. So I should have bought it and passed it along with somebody, so I'm sorry, fellas. Uh, I, yeah. I probably would have kept it to have a spare because I love that knife. I really wish I would have uh, give you money to get me one, but yeah, we had talked about it. But he, he but part of the, part of the blade show thing is you know you get it getting it for yourself, yeah. having a story behind it. So uh, I'll wait till next year. But uh, that's probably where I'll go first next year. Yeah, I, I don't own a Strider, and uh, I would like to experience. Yeah, one. especially now because this, my, this old SMG, I love it. it especially it's a Micro Melt PD one. I you know I'm a I, I geek out on some of the steels. I love it. This one's so smooth. This is a good user of mine, but the, it's very thick behind the edges. This is not a great cutter, even with a, a nice edge on it. It cuts good, but it's just not that satisfying to me. 
This one's ground way thinner. This one's ground even thinner than that, so I had to try those out. Yeah, I do like this, the, the blade finish on this one. And what's the Strider SNG right here? Yeah, that's SNG. What's and the SNG stand for? I don't know. <laughs> uh, man, I used to know, I can't remember. Um, Anyway, uh, small this, nose goats. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, this blade finish is awesome. This is like that Bowie S blade finish, but brought to another level. A, yeah. Almost a custom level to me. Yeah, I love that. It's like, I guess, a spear point. Um, I, I love that top swedge is, is carried over in the, the third generation PT. Now, one thing that I've always noticed about, I mean, these are hard use knives, but look at this, and it's it's not as bad on this, but look how thin it is right there. By the that yeah, that it is cool. I never very thin. That. It's not as thin on those, but it's still damn thin. You know, I always uh, see these for sale. You know, and a lot of them are out of my price range on the secondary market. Uh, but I guess that's because people could <laughs> could make money. Well, off okay, of them. and it's kind of like anybody. Like you know, I got into the. I've been I've been collecting knives for probably over over fifteen, almost twenty years. And whenever I got into YouTube scene. The S and Gs, I mean, the hinders were the ones that were causing this 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 huge price increase because the supply wasn't the supply and demand for them was was brought that way. So it's kind of like these. These are made in a lot smaller batches now that it's just M Strider, uh, and they they just that they're they're demanding a premium because there's not a lot of enough out there. Tell me about this one. Is, is that Damasty? Yeah. Now. I talked to Zelrick about this. I was just gonna get the plain version, but uh, they gave me a deal, being that I, I reviewed some of their knives and I was able to get this guy for a, a good price. That is a thing. And that's right Raindrop here. Damascus. And from what I was told is, this is the, um, this was made by We Knives. Really? That they made this pattern. I mean, they they didn't come out with this pattern because Raindrop Damascus is, is a thing, but it, uh, so I heard that they made this in-house. I could be wrong, but that's what I was told. It is very thin, huh? What? It just seems yeah, slicey. The stock, the stock is thin. It's it's a full flat. It's not as thin as this guy, but it, it's a pretty good cutter. It is cool. The looking. action's awesome. Oh, well, what's the price point on that? Are, are those even going to be for sale? Uh, I don't know. I, I, and I heard that these were a Blade Show special, but then uh, I know they had some other models they sold um that were damn steel so maybe hopefully they'll come out with these because i know a lot of people wanted these one thing i didn't notice about this guy over the uh the standard one is that it has these coated liners and this one was it was way smoother and way easier to actuate than the uh the plain jane one i don't know if it's because they they have to polish these internals because of the damn steel i don't know but this is a, a good super lightweight carry uh, I, I do have one flaw on it that I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix it, but I will talk about that in the full review. Okay, let's see. That's that setup. It's like the trailer. Now this one, I don't know what you was uh what. This well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story behind this one. Okay, about I don't know six months ago or so. I'm always looking in my. Uh, uh, referred page, wherever you call it on Instagram, where it tells you what, what you might like to look at. And there was a guy on there from Russia who had this knife on there. And I was like, man, that's a different looking blade shape. I just thought it looked interesting. It's ground super thin. Um, it should be a great cutter. I just like, sometimes I just like a different looking knife. And I mean, I've never seen anything like this before. Um, and whenever I tried to get it, it, it's it's only from Russian made blades is where where I could find it from and I just I don't know it just seemed too hard to get up so I, I just didn't pick it up so when I saw it at Blade Show I was very very intrigued and like I said it's one for the channel it's it's it wasn't as expensive you know and I want to try it out check it out so that's the story on that guy All it's right. Russian designer I think that's the story on this guy Russian yeah designer. it's very smooth uh we can go on to some of these other ones. Uh, this, I wouldn't have thought you would have came back with. Yeah, but, but every year at Blade Show, I, I, I would go to the, the uh, Emerson booth three or four times, and every year it's been at a, ever since I, I got scammed with my uh, uh, knife pimper on my Emerson Horseman, I always wanted another Emerson, but when Emerson had that second D10 in them, they were just 
they had poor action on them. I could never flip it out. And this one's new and it's got great action. Yeah, it does got great That's my fault. Uh, yeah. And I, I, I had an Emerson uh, CQC 15, which is like the, it's a Tanto version almost of this knife. I put that clip on it recently, yeah. the deep carry clip, bench me clip. Uh, so being that this one has the, the single detent, and it, it's, this is also different. These three, these lines milled in it. They they don't they don't do they don't have that many of these. And um, I don't know. I just wanted a good user, good beater. Yeah, and it's, it's definitely no frills, but the grippy G10 with a, a blade shape that looks like it'll slice a a, a, a bottle open. Yeah, it, I mean it looks like that recurve. Cut. I'm definitely gonna have to get better at sharpening recurve, especially that deep of recurve. I can do it, but I, I tend to to gouge a little bit because i don't have curved stones i expect to see some good good uh yeah, distress nice on marks. it shouldn't be blade. hard because that's almost like a teflon coating yeah we'll get that going uh so i'm whittling these down and this has no nothing on it so i don't know where this came from or that whatever. is a best tech prototype and uh, like I said in my haul video, they're still trying to find a name for this guy. So if you want to leave a name, you know, it might, you might be the one that names it. I'm going to leave a few names, whatever they like the best. They're going to choose that. And um, you know how I am with clip points. I love that, that Bowie-esque blade. Um, I just think it was, it's a beautiful knife. They did a great job on the lock disengagement area. Yeah. What do you think? That To me, that's yeah. one of the best I felt in a while. They did a good job on that cutout. They also had a version with uh, shred carbon fiber with the copper shred in the inside of it, and it was absolutely beautiful. It was this has like a satin finish. The one with the shred carbon fiber was uh, polished. It's just a, a nice looking knife. Hopefully, they do a little internal milling. Yeah, in it's there. a little, it got, it's a little stout, but it is cool because it does have a, a, a titanium backspacer as well. But it's not it's not like heavy by any means. Uh, super comfortable. I love that. I guess you could call that almost a harpoon blade. Yeah, you could call that a harpoon, but I like the sterile blade shape. I'm sure the production one won't be. Well, they they they're pretty sterile. I know. I think now the only thing they got on it is a blade steel, and they may have a Best Tech logo on one side, really small. But they've taken off a lot of the stuff. So there you go. That's the Best Tech prototype. And I was actually given they they gave that to me for helping them out and helping them uh move all their stuff around all right we can keep this going uh we we both uh know what this one is but i'm surprised it's in uh in <coughs> well, 690 I that's the mini dome and that they had the larger version i don't know if this one came out at blade show or not but that was strictly a a, a channel a channel score um if y'all would have seen the prices they had at their booth that one right there was probably the most expensive out of the um the Vanguard, which was $35 at the show. And now that's show prices. That's one good thing about if you can get to the show. That they had some of their Vanguards for $15. Oh, yeah. So uh, the newer ones, like newer models like this, they were $35. But like you said, this is N690. I think for N690, I'd rather that a little bit more than VG10, just from my experience. Um, and I think this is a great little user. It, it's very stain resistant. Um, it's very lightweight. I like it. You should have. You should have got your buddy one for. Uh... Well, I got this on the last day. They had this one and a green one left, so I picked this one up just to get. So uh, why you didn't get your buddy one? Because you never told me anything that you you actually you're supposed to contact me and tell me what you want me to pick you up. Oh yeah, the service in Blade Show was terrible too. Yeah, this year it was horrible and. That's, that's one thing about Blade Show this year that I was kind of upset about. You could tell they were trying to make more money this year. Like, Wi-Fi wasn't free this year. You had to pay if you wanted to get the Wi-Fi, which, that sucks. And Because every other year, it was free Wi-Fi. And then they also did something to where even, I had an exhibitor badge, but if you didn't have a certain color, it didn't really ma matter. You couldn't get in early. You could get in with the early words. That's it. So... That was a big ordeal this year as well. Yeah, the early bird doesn't make much sense either. Well, I mean... Because there's so the, many yeah, early birds. Yeah, but for the guys who are trying to get a specific knife, it makes sense. Yeah, but there's so many people. Yeah, but you still get in there before that. That's like a couple of hours later you don't get to get it. So it just depends. If you're not... If you're there just to enjoy the show and enjoy the people, then yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. All right. Well, uh...
Let's go to this one. This is a, this is one of my favorites of your pickups because this one is thin, the blade finished. Yeah, that one's the thinnest ground blade out of all the ones that I've shown. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get that on the camera. But now, uh, this it is, is it's a it's a great ergos, man. Good night. Somebody reached out, they said they liked it, so I must have not have said it not said it slow enough. I get excited sometimes and speak fast. This is the something obscene company J Cape with the C C A P E. And um, let me tell you a little story about this guy. Whenever they first came out, my buddy Tony Meader had, uh, he had this knife and he was gonna send it to me to review, but he told me, look, I know it's got jimping behind the flipper tab and I know, you know, you talked about that, you know, being a deal breaker for you. So I can send it to you, but I just don't think it's gonna be you. So I was like, no, I'm glad you told me that. Uh, I'll just, pa I'll, I'll pass on it. Well, fast forward a little bit later, and he came out with a version two or three, whichever one this is. And not only did he remove that jimping and a few other things, he also made a thumb stud version and a flipper version. And I'll tell you what, the action on these guys is just phenomenal. The, the flippers have so much recoil, it almost feels like the flipping action on my mini goblin. It's not as smooth, but it's got this loud ting because the blade is ground so thin, it's like a razor blade, it's got a ting. Yeah, that was very thin. So this thing is, I can't wait to use the test this guy. I'm gonna be getting probably the, the standard clip because these lightning bolts kind of hurt my finger whenever I flip it. But we'll talk about that in the full review as well. Yeah, this is supposed to be my impressions anyway, so. Uh, yeah, so what do you what do you think about <laughs> the, the thinness of that one? The blade is awesome. I always like these on Instagram, you know, what just the seeing the pictures. Uh, Ergos is fantastic. I, I, it locks you in, huh? Yeah, it does. Definitely. Now, would you have bought the thumb stud or the flipper? I, I'm, I'm a thumb stud guy. To, you know, flippers are fun, but it yeah. seems like everything's going to flipper. I kind of wish they would have had a version that had the flipper and the thumb stud. Not me. That that one just the... the, the but know. it seems like they dialed in the detents just right. These are made by Wii. And uh, it seems like they dialed in the DJs just right on the thumb studs because the flippers are a little bit stronger and they but come out with Look at the lines without the flipper. I mean, it Yeah, it's definitely sexy, no in, doubt. In and out the pocket, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. So. Yeah, very nice. All right, let's go on to uh, the Olamic Whipper snapper. snapper Whipper. Whipper Snapper Prototype. So I really like this one. Uh, he said it's a prototype and they let him purchase it, which... Uh, about it. Which they always have a great anno on their uh, knives. M390 on it. It's got that just a different look to it to me. Great yeah. ergos. It's busker esque, but. Yeah, it's like almost like a stretch busker, it feels yeah. like. Uh, the, the flip tab is a little different. It's, it's easy to flip. I just can't do it under the camera. Give some people a size reference. Put it down. This is, this is it by the uh, Polar. Somebody said it resembled the Polar blade. I think. You know, this was a little bit more rounded. Yeah, I, think I, the, I think the busker so is more go. Polar looking, right? Uh, I mean, size wise, yeah. the, the busker is way more in this size range. So you can see you got you got a full like I can get a full. Can you get a full four finger grip on just the handle? Because in the busker you have to use that forward toil. Yeah, it's comfortable and grip and then choke up choke up's okay i mean it's not the best feeling choking up i think they did a good job uh whipper snapper I, i'd rather see him have a name whipper yeah, snapper I, mean, well, I got that whipper snapper but I'll tell you what it's names like that that you remember that's yeah. that's the like things a lot of these weird names those are the ones you remember when when you hear them reviewed because of their odd they said that you know name a dog with two two <laughs> two uh, syllables or whatever two parts yeah. of the word, so they uh, they remember their name. Well, that's that might be right. Yeah. So I mean, you get that same floating backspacer going on right here. Um, he just he the, his his uh, work on the scales are always awesome. He had some really nice ones. Uh, the difference between this and the the, the regular versions that come out. This one's an M390. The other ones would be 20 CD. So not much. And he's also gonna put a little small cut like on the busker to make it a little bit easier to disengage that lock bar. It's not terrible, but it is a little hard to get my finger in there sometimes. Now he has said that if if he when he gets his busker back, he might do a deal with me on this one. So yeah. I got first dibs if he does. Yeah, yeah, for everybody who, who said they were interested in knife, I gotta say my, my, my two my two boys that went to Blade Show with me, they had called dibs on it right away. 
So if one of them doesn't pick it up from me, if I get rid of it, then I'll, I'll, I'll put it to, to the rest of you guys. All right. Some so, other people I have on the list that have asked me about it. This is a... Uh... This is my first time ever handling the uh, Koenig Knives uh, Mini Goblin, and uh, I'm blown away. I be, I, I, it's awesome. Yeah, I'll tell you, look, the funny story about this, okay? That was on my little list of places to go. It was Strider, Koenig, Alamic, and uh, that was it. That was the, the, the places that I knew I wanted to go to. Oh, we've seen that. And... I was so disappointed because I ran to the Koenig table right after Strider and Koenig didn't bring any. And I'm guessing they didn't bring any because this is a collaboration knife. Their their knife is the Aries. So I, I, at least I believe that's their knife. Uh, you know, this one I know is a collaboration. You have both you have both of their logos on it. So maybe it, either that or it just wasn't up in the production line yet. So I was bummed out whenever they said they didn't bring you to the show, and I didn't even think twice to go look anywhere else. It wasn't until my last day, which I talked about this, where I had went to the Fanatic Edge booth to get this um, to get this something up seen JK, and I kind of zoned in on this because there was a lot of these because he had his own little section on that booth, and on the right side, Fanatic Edge had a lot of his knives that he modified and stuff. And a lot of them were the, um, the Chavez Ultramars. And I'm, I'm not really, you know, that really doesn't, that's not really my thing. They're a little bit heavy for me. So I wasn't really interested and I kind of didn't pay it, pay it any mind. And I left that. They're in the smaller, the smaller room. And on the last day, we left the Alliance Design. And my buddy Brian wanted to go check out some of the Ultramars and just check out some of the Fanatic Edge stuff. And I walked up and I saw that. One that you got in your hand and one that had like a blue hand over that, that blade. And when I saw those two, <laughs> I was like a little schoolgirl. I was like, oh my God, they got goblins. And I didn't even ask them how much. I was like, I want this one. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, if y'all wanted to fast forward all, all that talk, but uh, I don't blame yeah. you. Yeah. What's your two favorites? <laughs> uh, well, this, the, uh, you know, Daddy O EDC, I see, you know, he loves his or whatever. And. Uh, yeah, if I, his, I would give up, you know, a good portion of my collection to get one of these. Hint, it, hint, huh? <laughs> yeah, because it is a, it is fantastic knife. But uh, that's 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 got to be my favorite. I ain't, uh, okay, now well, I know the second one's gonna be a kind of tough one. What's your second? Uh, just I as know. you know, it's probably it's see, probably the same. Me now, y'all gotta understand. Copper Dice and I have a lot of the same taste. Anytime he gets a knife or I get a knife. Usually we're trying to work out a trade, you know, if they ever get rid of it, we want it. And these would be be close. Because a lot of the knives I have, I've traded with him with, you know. We've yeah. traded back and forth many times because we're, you know, we're good friends. And, you know, it's cool to keep the knives, you know, with a friend so you can still see them. And you, you know, know you got a chance to get it back if yeah. you ever really want it. So, yeah, and that's, we, we usually kind of keep an open-end trade, kind of like an open-end adoption. You know, if, if we really, really want it back, it may take us a little bit extra trading, but, you know, so they usually, we usually keep it open for each other, especially when we talked about it before. Well, if you was waiting what for the... carrying? That was the grand finale, bro. No, I want to see what was uh, in your pockets. So today I got my drunken, and, and uh, I really like this knife. I know it taking a lot of slack for this pocket clip, but it, has, it what, hasn't though. bothered me yeah, that let much. Let me talk about that since you talked about my knife. It's got a custom ramp. I mean, a custom feel to it. Look, the the uh, detent ramp. Yeah, it's got a detent nice. ball ramp like on the Strider too. You can see it on the lock bar right there. But I'll tell you what, this guy right here is stupid smooth. Very smooth. I hate the pocket clip. I love it. It's got that that polished stone wash. I mean, he this has been in his pocket a lot. Uh, it's got that kind of... Uh, what is it? The Spidey Chef looking blade on most, but the milling is incredible. You know, the the price is in the eye of the beholder there. So I I know, you know, all the extra milling. I've worked in a machine shop. I know what that costs. So I, I can see why the price is up there. Now, do I think it's priced accordingly? I, you know, I, I'm not one to, I can't say. I don't know what they all had to do, but Pocket clip is my, my major gripe just because that hurts my hand right here, this tip. But this thing has gotten so smooth. The detail is a little weak, but you can still flip it out and it's very easy to actuate. You can still body flick it. 
Yeah, what else were you carrying there? I know you had two on you. I got this one from JT uh, from uh, yeah, that for is sale. The, what the Monterey Bay knives? What bent men pen? Something like that. But uh, I love the blade shape on that. It had knife. issues. It had a lot of lock stick, and I knew that when I bought it from uh, JT, and I sent it to message Monterey Bay as soon as I got it, and they said send it in, and I now sent that, it in. That's one good thing about that company. They want to make. They want you to be happy about your product, just like a lot of companies out there, but they are very quick to fix whatever. They had to do whatever it takes. If they couldn't have fixed that night, they would have given them a brand new he one. He got it to me quick, back quick. Super smooth, they carbonized the lock face so it has absolutely no lock stick. Oh, and that's something I want to say too. He had to tune it, because I mean, the action was way better. Just like that knife, I had talked about how the lock stick was pretty terrible in this knife, just like a lot of, because it, 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 you know, that, uh, ties galling on there and I had some you know um, lube get on the lock face but I took my carbonizer out and carbonized the lock face and absolutely no lock stick no matter how hard I flip this guy so this is gonna be a good user for me so there you go that is Copper Dice kind of giving his first impressions on my knives picking out his favorites what was in his pocket so I hope y'all enjoyed that. I know y'all like when he's in my videos and we try to do it as many times as we can, but he, he does work shift work, so it's not always that easy. So anything else you want to wrap up with? I just want to say, uh, spay and neuter your dogs <laughs> anytime. And uh, Y'all heard it, folks, right here from the man himself. Make sure you get your, 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 your cat spayed and your dogs neutered. And over 40, get, 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 your get prostate exam. Prostate exam, you know, you know all that. Get, get the... All oh, right. Well, maybe not two. That's just copper. That's how you examine yours, buddy. <laughs> now they go with uh, do blood yeah, tests. That's a red one. All right. All right. Peace. Later, guys.